The Ben Heck Show is brought to you by Element 14, the electronic design community and online store built for engineers and hobbyists alike. Join now and browse the store at element14.com. Benjamin J. Heckendorf. Every week he takes on new projects, shares tips and tricks, and answers your viewer questions on The Ben Heck Show. Boo! Oh, that didn't scare you, huh? Well, just wait until I finish building the spooky candy bowl that will send trick-or-treaters running for their lives, thus saving you a fortune on candy costs. <laughs> but seriously, today on the Ben Heck Show, we'll add some speakers for spooky sounds and a proximity sensor to control when the candy bowl actually moves. Then we'll test it out, and we promise not to eat a single piece of candy until this project is done. Now it's time to make this work electrically. So we want to be able to actuate the servo, make some sound, so we'll have some speakers here. We need a 12 volt power supply for the speakers and for the microcontroller. Microcontroller with an SD card to have like a, ah, the screams and whatnot. And a proximity sensor so we can see the kids sneaking up and scare them. If I put these speakers on the outside of the piping, that should keep the legs from hitting them. Because if I put it here, the leg will hit it. I'd really like this table to be able to still fold when all is said and done. I like to use these adhesive backed mounting bases and what you do is you put a zip tie through them and then you can hold wires. So I'd always suggest keeping these around, especially for larger projects where you need to run wires. Uh, it just makes it so much easier. It's also good for organizing wires into your computer desk and things like that. I've got a parallax ping proximity sensor. This is ultrasonic. It sends out a high frequency pulse and it measures how long it takes for that pulse to return. It's actually the same thing we used on robot luggage. I'm going to mount it here so we can see the kids coming. So I'm gonna use this plastic to make a mount for the proximity sensor and then mount the plastic to the table. So my friend Parker Dillman, the Longhorn engineer, uh, designed this. It's a prototype board for the Parallax Propeller 8-core microcontroller. And this will be great for this project because it has a built-in SD card which we can use to play music and scary sounds. So I'm gonna make a little breadboard so we can attach this to our table and then we'll wire up the speakers and the servos and the ping sensor to this microcontroller. I wired up this breadboard to connect the propeller to so it snaps on as the arrows indicate. It's important to uh, make sure it's the right way. It's got a generic 7805 linear regulator for the five volts to power this. This thing has a 3.3 volt regulator on it for its circuitry. And I hooked up a bunch of disconnects this will probably go like right about here. We've got 12 volts in coming from the speaker amp. We'll just use its power. This will be going into the ping sensor. The servo will plug in right here. And we've got a headphone jack for the audio amplifier. So I'm gonna get this installed. Once I have it installed, then I can fine tune the distance of the ping sensor and also get the servo library working on the repeller. Details? It's all in the details. You wanted more guests. Hope I brought enough for everyone. You asked for more interaction and audience engagement. Uh, yes, this is Ben Heck. I'm calling to respond to your YouTube comment. You said, give us tutorials. I'm ready to teach. Oh, I prefer PC. More giveaways. My gift to you. More interviews. Hard hitting, no nonsense reporting. You stay classy, World Wide Web. More Allison. Heck yeah. More Ben. Heck yeah. And a new guy. Heck yeah. More Heck. Heck yeah. Element 14's The Ben Heck Show. All new season coming soon to a computer, tablet, phone, and screen near you. Learn more at element14.com slash tbhs. I warned you about the candy bowl.
But I guess you might as well take some for now. <laughs> Don't look over here where the scary music is coming from. What do you think, pretty spooky? So now I'm putting some code on this um, propeller development kit to run our thing. Now the propeller has multiple cores that actually do run simultaneously, so it's a great microcontroller for projects like this because one of the cores can run the distance sensor. That's all it has to do, just run that. Another core can run the speech, another one can do the music in the background, another one can run the servos. Uh, I actually use the propeller on my pinball machine for the audio and the video portion of it because it's great at doing that, you don't have to use interrupts. So in this case, one of the cores is going to be continually pinging, looking for people. If they're within a certain distance, it'll have some random warning speech. If they get close and touch the bowl, it'll scream and yank the bowl back. And if nothing's going on, it'll randomly say quotes like, don't touch this candy bowl, which of course means touch this candy bowl. So I'm going to flash this code to this and then we can decorate it and set it up for a demonstration. All right, so if it detects someone within 12 inches, it'll scream and make the bowl yank back. If it detects something between 12 inches and let's say three feet, it will say, don't come any closer, like oh, another warning. We have a counter here, board, there's another, if board equals 100,000, it resets itself, and it plays a random clip like, don't come here, blah, blah, blah. Stay away from the candy Welcome to Ben Heck's Haunted Shop of Horrors! I'm your host, Ben Heckendorn. Join us for a haunted evening that will make you scream! Ha ha ha, how sweet it is. We have... What's that? A haunted candy dish is speaking to us from beyond the grave. When your little tykes get close to the haunted candy bowl, they will be warned. Stay away from this candy bowl. But children being children, they won't listen to the warnings. And when they get close, they're in for the fright of their night. Ah! This Halloween, careful what you ask for. You might just get it for my next trick. Don't touch the candy bowl. Shut up. For my next trick, I shall have my assistant, Alison Josephine Harriet, pretend to be a child and sneak up and try to steal the candy out of the bowl. But she'll be in for a surprise. Stay away from this candy. Um. Stay away from well, I really want some more candy. <laughs> Today's viewer question comes from David who asks, what kind of cost should I expect if I build pinball for a hobby? Well, there are two ways of going about that. One is to buy an existing older machine and reskin it to a custom theme. This can usually be done for the cost of the machine, a few hundred dollars of art, and many, many hours of your time. Building a machine from scratch is much more difficult and will cost you several thousand dollars. Be sure to do your research before you start either project. That's all for today's Totally Spooky episode. Thanks for watching. Next week, we'll get started on an accessibility guitar strumming device. The idea here is to create a foot controlled mechanism to assist a single handed musician. This kind of project is great because it helps solve a problem and helps someone do what they love.
Join us next time to see what we come up with. Stay tuned at element14.com forward slash TBHS where you can join the discussion, suggest builds for the show, and even have a chance to win upcoming builds. Remember, you can always email build ideas to benheck at element14.com. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>